So yeah, back in the kitchen. Now this is part two of the uh, kitchen remodel or the countertop remodel refinishing thing. Uh, I am going to smooth out this wood. I found a way to do it. And uh, then I'm going to fill it in and make sure that it's level and ready to go. So just a quick recap in case you missed part one. Uh, redoing the countertops in the kitchen. And um, part of the reason for that is because laminate countertops, they didn't seal this corner when they installed it. And it got water in the crack. And water with particle board swells. And that's exactly what happened here. It swelled and it weakened the, the, the particle board. So what I'm going to do now is take this down to level and fill in this area with something that will bring this entire work surface level so that I can do new material on the countertops. This is an electric planer. Uh, it is designed to plane wood surfaces. Uh, it's just so much easier than a hand plane. I tend to like power tools. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. Once again, hearing protection. All right, going over it with a straight edge and just looking to make sure I don't have any high spots that are going to be too high. chunky bits there. Okay, we gotta take care of that a little bit. I think we're good. All right, this I believe is going to be okay now. Uh, I think I've got the surface down to the point where everything is below this top surface pretty well. Uh, 
As for what to fill this in with, I had originally considered an epoxy pour. Um, I thought about just using the cement itself. And I also thought about getting a piece of laminate and putting a piece of laminate in here. Although the idea of cutting a custom piece of laminate to fit this exactly seems like a really not a very good idea, or at least a difficult one. And then it strikes me that I already have pieces of laminate that fit here pretty much perfectly. All I really need to do is clean them up. Uh, I'm going to try and reuse these pieces to fill in here. I'm just trying to remove some of the debris so that I can get them to lie flat and have some chance of being, you know, maintaining the level here at least far better than it was. You know, if there's a little bit of variance, I think that's going to be taken care of with the, uh, with the concrete coating or the cement coating. But I guess we'll see. All right, so what I'm using here is a polyurethane. Uh, it's just a basic polyurethane varnish. This is nothing special. It's just what I happen to have on hand but it should do the trick pretty well. All I'm really doing is sealing the surface just to give it a bit more Strength, I guess. Something. Uh, this particle board soaks this up like mad. Just to let you know, this is an oil-based polyurethane. Um, I don't want to use a water-based one here because you know, we've seen what water does to particle board. Uh, and I just don't want to take the chance. Thank you, Sissy. <coughs> what? I know I'm not doing dog stuff. I am being told that I am paying insufficient attention to the dogs. <coughs> Don't be a brat. Right. I just took these pieces out to the shed and used some lacquer thinner on the back uh, with a scrubby pad to remove as much of the glue as I could. I got it down to a pretty good laminate surface. A uh, little bit of glue left on there, but it's nothing, nothing horrible, nothing to write home about. You can see some of it down here, some of the damaged area where that glue... <laughs> I don't know, for some reason the glue got really, really stuck onto the laminate here. Oh, because of course the wood failed. Uh, anyway, I'm going to let this dry overnight and we'll come back tomorrow and try and do some actual gluing. 
All right, it's the next day. Things have dried. I'm going to put on some contact cement and let that dry for a little bit and then we'll stick these down and then I'm going to leave it sit for a while. I am using a pretty cropped up paint roller for this. I've used this um, long enough that it's no longer really viable as a roller. So I'm going to be using this and doing the basic This is the tricky part because once this goes down, it is not going to come back up again if everything goes according to plan. Okay, there we have a surface that is reasonably flat. The rest of this, any imperfections in here will be taken care of by the first sanding process. And I'm going to put some weights on this. Hi, look, it's a kitchen countertop. It's what I've got for weight, okay? All right, it's been a little over a week since, uh, since I glued these pieces down and put the weights on top of them. Uh, so I'm going to pull those off now and then going to well, make sure that it's it's looking like I want it to and if it is then I'm going to try and fill the uh, inner cracks with some epoxy. Super happy with that. I have to inject some glue down there, possibly. There is definitely a ridge here, but that will come down with the sanding. This is the only thing that I'm really kind of sticky about right now. Section right in there. Hmm. We need an injectable glue that will Hold that down. I gotta think about this. Uh, first of all, I need to apologize for the light that's normally coming from up here. Uh, it's a rechargeable and it ran out of battery, so now I am in the process of recharging it. I'll get it back. Uh, going to try this. This is a Gorilla Construction Adhesive. I've never tried this before. But I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with most of the Gorilla brands, so let's see how this works. All right. 
right. And what I'm going to do is put some rather massive weight on this. Uh, these are lithium polymer battery packs that I have. And they're quite heavy. And then I'll let that sit. It says that it bonds in 30 seconds. Uh, I'm going to let this sit overnight. I just want to make sure that it's well bonded and cured and has a chance of actually adhering. Uh, after that, I'll fill, the, uh, I'll fill the lines with epoxy and we can pick it up from there. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode of the Kitchen Counter Saga. I have to let this wait and let it uh, firmly attach and be all happy and ready to go. And then I'm going to have to come back and do the first sanding. Uh, I'm going to be gone for a while, so um, I'm just going to let this sit and come back to it, and hopefully everything is just peachy. All right, until next time, probably episode three. <laughs> I'll see you guys.